Thanks for staying with us. Indians in Australia have uh, strongly protested against an Australian government web website which shows a map of India without Jammu and Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh. They have issued a press statement uh, uh, asking the Go Department of Immigration and Citizenship Australia to correct the map on its website. The Australian High Commissioner, uh, High Commission spokesperson to NDTV uh, had stated earlier as well that the map was uh, in fact an error and uh, is also being removed from the website. Now, fighting back all the bad press it has been getting, the Congress is launching a campaign to expose the allegedly communal forces behind Anna and Ramdev. The Congress has also released a pamphlet called The View on the Present Situation. During the campaign, senior leaders will hold uh, media interaction across the country. There will also be some rallies uh, speaking in Kolkata. Pranab Mukherjee said that, that just because 5,000 people were supporting something, it did not become correct. And it was also wrong to misuse the right to protest. Nobody in a democratic system, in a democratic society, everybody has right to agitate on certain issues which he feels, finds right or wrong. When the parties are rejected by the people, and if they want to resort to unconstitutional practice, it is totally unacceptable. They are providing the logistic support to all these agitation. Those who want to process, support the process of constitution, Congress party will fight against that. Now finally some good news on the Ramdev issue. He's finally broken his fast after nine long days. The yoga teacher ended his fast, demanding certain steps against corruption after a stream of visitors, both political and religious, uh, visited him at the hospital and urged him to end his fast. Spiritual leaders Murari Bapu and Sri Sri Ravi Shankar met him earlier this morning. It was Sri Sri's uh, third visit to Ramdev. He came out to make an announcement after convincing him to end his fast. Ram Dev was fasting for the past nine days. He was admitted to the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences in Dehradun on a Friday after his condition deteriorated at his ashram in Haridwar. <laughs> स्वामी रामदेव जी ने अभी अनशन तोड़ दिया है उन्होंने जूस ग्रहण किया है और सारे संत लोग गुरुजन मुरारी बापू जी सभी संत के उपस्थिति में इन्होंने ये काम किया अपना संकल्प पूरा हुआ हम उनको धन्यवाद देते हैं और सबको धन्यवाद देते हैं now, according to uh, U.S. cables released by whistleblower website WikiLeaks, Deputy National Security Advisor Vijay Nambiar uh, told the visiting U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan in 2005 that Pakistan is the epicenter of regional and global jihad and that there is proof of the ISI uh, Director General meeting LET commanders. As per the cable, the Deputy uh, NSA told the U.S. envoy that uh, there's proof of ISI teams visiting Bangladesh as well and that ISI is coordinating jihadis in Bangladesh. Elements friendly to LET is also attempting to enter politics as per this cable. LET uh, rivals Al-Qaeda also are in threat. LET training in Afghan uh, Taliban as well is what is stated in this cable. The protests against the proposed uh, POSCO plant in Orissa are refusing to die down. Children, women and men are face to face with police now over the land acquisition for the steel plant. Over 2,000 of them are lying down on the ground, forming a human barricade to prevent the police from entering into the area. Situation continues to remain tense. However, police action is not expected till the 17th of this month due to monsoon festival of Rajo. Meanwhile, more members of the civil society and activists are joining the protesters today to show their support. Sending relief materials and funds to calamity hit areas in the most common, is the most common thing we as uh, global communities really do. But uh, a group of architects have banded together really to offer solutions that are unique and different. Watch the story to really find out more details. Open Japan might sound like a fancy tour promotion activity, but actually
Actually, it is a community-driven platform that looks at offering innovative and sustainable design solutions globally. Thanks to live interactions with volunteers whose ground observations post the earthquake in March 2011 in Japan, here is a group of architects in Chennai sharing their ideas and building designs with their counterparts spread in eight cities across the globe. We've all come from experiences of working on projects similar to that, what happened in India earlier with the Chennai tsunami and then other social projects. We've done social projects, so we know how to deal with them. So how we structure them and what kind of infrastructure is required at the end of it. And there are design solutions, realistic design solutions that could eventually get implemented depending on uh, how concrete these ideas stand. So how does this have any use for Chennaiites, you may ask? Brought together by social networking sites, these enthusiasts say that Open Japan is just a prototype for their upcoming Indian project. So we want to get as many collaborators onto this platform and what we're doing over here is to test and see if it's actually working, if people can use it easily and hopefully bring in user inputs into the design process. Cynics may say such infrastructural projects might remain on blueprint. However, architects assure us that actual work will begin once processes are streamlined. And rebuilding communities such as the ones in Japan with material aid will be a reality. With camera person Anand and reporter Bertila, Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. A great indeed uh, initiative there, uh, but uh, coming up on the other side of this short break, it's Dakshin Dare all the way through Tamil Nadu. Uh, stay tuned to find out all about that motorsports rally right here in Delhi.